Hey, Professor Stedholtz. Um, before I get into my video presentation, I um, wanted to just say it's been a good semester with you, and I've learned a lot in your class. Um, I'm very appreciative of the reading material that I've come across. Um, I love Corbett and how, how to Alleviate Poverty. A uh, very mind-opening book. Really enjoyed that. And also uh, Malfurus as well, the uh, the kind of behind the scenes, uh, the in and outs of planning ministry. So there's a lot that goes into planning a new ministry. So uh, it's really expanded my mind in that area. So uh, so just overall, I'm very grateful to be part of your class and, and getting to know you uh, again. And hopefully we can meet up in April. Um, I'm kind of just assuming that it will happen. Uh, so Lord willing, that would happen. Um, so before I get into my video presentation, just want to let you know I'll be doing uh, have a fictitious, fictitious uh, audience, and I just kind of imagine I will be doing a uh, a presentation for the pastor that in his church that we do ministry with, uh, Freedom Alliance Church, and Pastor Bourne. Uh, and so I imagine Pastor Bourne being here with his board of elders. Um, so. I'm just going to start in about five seconds at minute 35 and just go from there. So, well, uh, thank you, Pastor Bourne and uh, uh, Freedom Alliance Board of Elders. Uh, appreciate you guys being here. Um, as you guys already know who I am because we've done ministry together, Ryan, and uh, wanted to let you guys know and, and, and why you guys are here is to learn about our new our new outreach ministry, um, which I find that you guys will definitely relate to because we're across the street from one another and we are part of the same community. And so as you see this, I feel like you guys are really going to resonate with uh, what we're trying to do here because you're so intimately close to the same needs that we see uh, out of the community of Hamden and Chardon. Um, and so just very briefly, you guys probably aren't really aware of this, but in our community, clearly we live out in the country and, and we live out in the rural area. And we have a, you know, not super tiny, but we do have a small population out here. Um, but what we do realize, but what we do see as a need is that there's little to no ministry dedicated to young adults. Uh, we know uh, we have a WANA, we have youth ministry, and we have a lot of ministry for you know young married couples kids but really nobody outside of uh, graduating high school and who are single and who are in their tw uh, late teens and uh, early to mid 20s um, we have we have ministry for these other areas but not this area and so there's a huge need out there a huge hole uh, for us uh, to fill that need with um, and so the mission that we have is to be a light in our community to reach these young adults. And we'll be doing that through the Great Commission. Uh, we will be uh, going out to our community, sharing the gospel, and teaching them everything that the Bible teaches them. Simultaneously, we'll be teaching them life skills, like how to create a resume, how to, lead, uh, how to network, um, and teach them basic finance. Just, just some of the things. And because these young adults, they don't know these things. Uh, they, have a, they have a high school diploma, which is good to have. Definitely essential, uh, especially definitely essential living in the United States. But that high school diploma is for getting them to college. But not everybody goes off to college. But some actually do go off to college, but they stay here in the area. Um, but then there's no ministry for them uh, and no way to learn these life skills. Uh, that they weren't taught in high school because that's not what high school is designed for. So we see this need out there that these these 18 and 25 year olds or Gen Z, that generation, uh, they become inadequate. They have anxiety and they have, they have a low self confidence that they can manage adulthood. Um, you know, I got information from a local leader in the, in the community that sees this. Uh, he sees a huge need that you know these young adults they feel they can't go on to. They haven't. They may have graduated from high school, but they haven't graduated from teen, from being a teenager to an adult. And so we're trying to bridge that and trying to help them 
can help them go from being a teenagers to young, healthy, functional, spiritually mature adults. Sounds like a lot, but it's really not in practice. And so how we're going to do that, and this is our vision, is to, is to do life on life uh, ministry. Uh, we'll be walking with these uh, young people. Uh, and the people who will be doing this are people who are uh, spiritually and, and morally mature in their walk with Christ, and they're stable in their life. And so we will be teaching them these life skills and also walk with them spiritually as well, <laughs> introducing the gospel to them for the first time, as well as uh, kind of discipling them as well. And so how you can get how you get involved is three ways. One, let other ministries know about, other churches know about what we're doing here. Number two, uh, prayer support. We realize that uh, being a light in the darkness, the devil and the devil and the kingdom of darkness ain't going to like that. So we need prayer support because without prayer, without God, we're we can't do anything without Him. So and how you can become a prayer partner is is uh, being connected to HCC uh, Outreach at Gmail .com, be part of our newsletter, and we can uh, appreciate your prayers and also let you guys know what's been going on with that new updates, and then also uh, financially. And also uh, financial support as well, because we all realize working in ministry, ministry costs money, whether we like it or not. Now, we will try to do everything in our in our power to keep the costs low or as much as possible free. But, you know, money will be needed eventually. So our goal is to raise ten thousand dollars in the first year and keep that. And then as the ministry grows, um, uh, perhaps the needs and the cost of doing this mission will grow as well. But 10,000 is a very reasonable uh, and attainable goal for what we're try trying to do here. And so to be part of this ministry and donate financially to it, you simply just go to our website at www.hamdencc.org and you just go to the giving tab and you'll see a drop down box and you see Hamden Congregational Church Outreach. And so you can donate specifically to this ministry through that. And that money goes for supplies, uh, any technology we need to buy, and just all the means that uh, we need to use. We need money to help this ministry become successful. Uh, and the money does not go to any one uh, volunteer. It goes to the ministry. So it's not coming to me. Uh, it's going to uh, the, the Hamburg Congregational Church and for this ministry. So I imagine you guys have uh, questions uh, for me. So uh, what's your guys' questions?